Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing this rose gold eye look using the Huda Desert Dusk palette. So I was watching maybe a month ago, it's probably been a lot longer than that actually, one of my favorite YouTubers, Bailey Sarian, she did a look on this with using this palette and really wasn't all that thrilled about it. And so it took me a while to purchase it, but I still went in anyways. I wanted to try it myself. Um, I trust Bailey and she was right once again. So this palette is stunning. I, I love the presentation. Look at how beautiful that is. It's got a mirror, makes traveling better. The colors in here are stunning and I'm gonna still try to do at least one more look using this so that I can get kind of a, a better well-rounded feel. But overall, if you look at this color, and I'm gonna try to do it at an angle by the name of Cosmo, I almost bought the palette for Cosmo or this color here, Twilight. So I started out with Cosmo and it already looks like I have used this palette multiple times because it looks, it's got a divot already. Now the rest of the colors I used were Desert Sand, Musk, Amber Oud, Saffron, and Angelic along with Cosmo. None of the other colors did what Cosmo did, which was a little disappointing. As far as the colors go, they did blend okay. I did have some skipping on some of them, or maybe two colors, so I really had to pat the colors on instead of kind of working my way with them. So if you buy this palette, you just have to know that you've got to almost do a different application to get them to blend or the colors to stick because they are a little patchy. Uh, again, Cosmo, I tried to put on, nothing came on. So I had to use glitter glue and my finger. A brush doesn't work at all. And basically, I, it goes everywhere. So I did do my eyeliner, it spread Cosmo everywhere. I think I've got Cosmo much higher up here. Don't even know how it got up there. But Cosmo is shifting. And I kept getting a lot of fallout on my face even when I was tapping my brush. So if I'm going to, or when I go to use this again, because I do really like the colors in this. So I'm gonna, I've gotta try some more. Um, the one thing that I would do different moving forward is not have any foundation on because I was getting frustrated with it falling on my cheeks even though I was tapping the brush and they are pigmented. So it's just kind of a really weird combo. So you got pigmentation, you got high fallout, you got patchiness, you got some colors that look like you've used them a heck of a lot more than normal. I mean, it's kind of a letdown. I, I actually expected more out of Huda. I have her other palette and I like it. Um, this one just seems to be not as good, but the colors are phenomenal and that's the bummer of it. I wish this the consistency of the eyeshadows were a lot better because it's just kind of a letdown for the name and the price point. So anyways, I would have expected this to be in more of a cheaper knockoff kind of palette, not her original. But, so on a scale of say one to 10, I'm gonna give this a six or a seven, just because of what I mentioned a second ago. But if you wanna see how I created this rose gold look, stay tuned. All right, we're gonna get involved with the Huda Desert Dust Palette. So I wasn't gonna purchase this palette. My One of my favorite YouTubers didn't like it. And so I decided not to buy it. And then I kept looking at it and I'm deciding I gotta try it anyways. So I don't like it, it's my own damn fault. All right, um, God, there's so many pretty colors here. So let's start out with Desert Sand all over the lid and this does you can already see it's kind of has some fallout now when i'm using the light colors i don't get as picky about knocking my brush off but as we get darker and darker oh yeah we're gonna be tapping the brush i did like her other palette so i think that's why I've just had to try this myself. In fact, I did a 17 year anniversary look with it. So, you know, 
I just had to try it. All right, we're gonna take this musk color. Ooh, we got pigmentation. We're gonna take the musk color up into the transitional area. And I am starting to tap now that we're getting a darker color. So far, so good. But we still got a ways to go. All right, let's get into this amber color because that is pretty. And that's gonna go into our crease. I'm hoping that looks good. I can't, I can't tell if it's starting to patch up. We're gonna keep going. Could just be my wrinkles. <laughs> okay, it's not me. This color here called amber is patchy. So we're just gonna pat it in a place and hope for the best. That's kind of a bummer, you know? I hate when they get patchy. Okay, we're gonna pick up some saffron. This palette has a lot of fallout. Okay, this one, these are a little bit, because they are patchy, I am kind of putting them on and patting so that that helps. But to be honest, I really love the colors. So I hate that it's, they are getting a lot of fallout. And um, yeah, that just kind of sucks really. But the colors are so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna take the Painterly Paint Pot and I'm gonna just kind of carve out a little bit on my eye. Okay, I do have my eyes basically carved out a bit. Now I'm going to take this color Angelic and I'm gonna use that as part of the inner kind of crease. With the other side of the brush, I'm gonna use some Cosmo. That just looks like glitter goodness. And that's really patchy and it's not going on. And it's flicking everywhere. And what's a bummer is that it's so pretty. Look at it. That's not gonna be pretty if I can't get it on my eye. All right, so we're gonna try some glitter glue. Now let's try some Cosmos with my finger. So I'm gonna use my ring finger and some Cosmos. Now that I have some glitter glue down. And that is going on much better. Okay, so that still has gone everywhere, but it's so pretty. The other interesting thing about it is and I don't know that you can really tell it from this angle, but just this one use, it's like I've used this several times. And that's kind of a bummer because if I bought the palette for that color alone, I'm not gonna be able to wear it that many times before it's gone. And you know, yeah, I just don't like that. So my favorite color basically in here is already looking like it's used up. I mean, come on now. That's ridiculous. Or ridiculous. I'm just gonna pick up a little blending eye brush from, I think it's Elf. It is from Elf. And we're gonna pick up the color Oud. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. And that's a horrible accent. Whatever accent that was, it was horrible. So I'm gonna take this on our outer V. So again, I'm kind of patting these colors to get them on. I, I wouldn't say the quality is all that good with these. And even though I'm tapping my brush, I'm still getting a lot of fallout. So I kind of look like a little disco ball going on here. Okay, I put on the Mar Morphe lip liner bite me and now we're going to use the huda trendsetter i'm going to use the demi wispies from salon perfect as 
my eyelashes for today. I'm gonna use the Tarte Pro as far as the eyelash glue. We're gonna pull, just kind of set these on. Okay, we're gonna let these set a moment. We're going in for this last bit of mascara. Let's hope my eyelashes have dried. And in typical Amy fashion, we have some on the verge of the nose. Wouldn't be a makeup look without it. Maybe I should just leave it there and start a trend. Okay, so I'm gonna fix my hair and come back and give my final thoughts. Although I have a feeling you have a feeling. What I'm Thank gonna you so say. much for watching the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette review, tutorial, thoughts, etc. Um, I would like to hear your comments or questions. Please put those below. I love interacting with the YouTube audience. Um, I also want to say thank you for stopping in and you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time.